Hey guys, welcome back to R2 Haze. This is Angel and I'm back with a video. So today I'll be doing a video on a Prince Family official house tour. And I chose to do this specific video because I've seen it on my YouTube page. And I know that every house that the Prince Family gets is always nice. Like anytime they get a new house, that house is always um more bigger and nice looking than the previous house that they moving out of so let's go ahead and get into the video man i'm, I'm overly excited for today i'm actually thirsty you know what I'm saying? me too i've been thirsty i'm thirsty for you though you feel me? i'm thirsty for you too oh really oh really is Guys. that something new oh no i'm just saying that oh okay place my thirst mm, I will. hey y'all look man so it's an official announcement we are We need to stop lying to them, though. You need to stop lying to yourself. Myself? Yes, yourself. Tell them. We Tell all know that she's expecting. Um, Damien's dad already kind of like ratted it out. So we already in a, in a whole nother video. So we know. We knew it wasn't going to be long, you know, before. And by the way, congratulations um, to the Prince family. What? Ain't nothing to tell them. Come on, let's do the house tour. Twins. No. Tell them about the twins. No. Do there's you, no twins. You gonna keep lying to the family. You gonna keep lying to yourself? I think you need to go to a mental hospital because you're huh? not right. Ooh. Something wrong with your brain. Right. Okay. So she, you know what I'm saying? She funny. She gonna lie to y'all, so I'm gonna let her lie to y'all. So it's okay. Catch me in nine months. Ain't gonna be nothing. All right, that's what's up, man. Listen, guys, if y'all new, like I said, subscribe to the channel. If y'all excited, comment down below, let us know. So the first thing we're gonna start at is the front door of the new house. So we have a black matte finish metal door. We didn't go with glass. Why are we, how can we go with glass this time? Because people like to be nosy. They'll walk up to your house and look like this. Trying to look in to see what's in. We don't got time for that. Listen, ain't nobody looking in. It's perfect. Perfect, man. So good luck trying to kick this door down. Too. Right. I was just going to say that, like that door right there, because um they have had previous break-ins into their house, and I did hear something about somebody was trying to come into the new house or whatever, but now they have upgraded their door. So if anybody try. Do you know get curious and try to come in? They're gonna have a hard time kicking down that door. The door is really heavy, it's double door metal. So yeah, so it's pretty lit, man. Yeah. So you wanna go to your room first? Yeah, so let's come over here, guys. The first room we walk in the house is my office. So come on in, you guys are welcome. Hi! So that you know i like that the space is really spacious um for her office and she can close the door um i think it's really important for us as mothers not just saying mothers but um i do want to like specifically speak on mothers we you know carry the baby for nine months we deliver the baby and it's like we're always busy 24 7 with the kids so i think that you know, having your own office and space to get away and, you know, get your mental right is very important for any parent, really, whether you're a mother or father, especially if you're attentive to the kids, like, you know, so often because kids, they are blessed and they're beautiful, but they can drive you crazy sometimes. So I like the I like her office. I like the chandelier. The chandelier is really and it's so bright. I don't know yet. Okay. Back and here, also, Jenna? I like it because she's not too far away from, you know, like where the kids, the family, you know, the family sat in the living room and stuff. So she can still, you know, be away and still hear what's going on. So that's, that's nice. Bianca Prince? I don't know yet. It depends on how I feel. How you feel? See, it depends. Told y'all she got mood swings because of the, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Anyway. Nothing perfect in here. We talk about the, the floor color. Look at the floor color. Oh, it's just wood, baby. It's just wood? Yeah, it's just wood. It's actually a very expensive wood, yeah, to be expensive. exact. So uh, let's hope there's no scratches. Yeah, hope, hopefully there's no scratches. So yes. Y'all okay. want updates about her study. This is her study. 
Go to her channel, subscribe right now. She yes, on the road to like 10 million subscribers, so congratulations. Still at one. All right, y'all, so coming out here, first thing you're gonna see is this hallway coming this way. A long hallway. Yep. so we have the stairs, and under the stairs is this room over here. Okay. What's All right, here? ladies first. Come on in, guys. So right here is just a closet. So it could be like a storage closet. It can be a hide and seek mm -hmm. spot. Hide and seek. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot. Yeah, I was, so when I, seeing them come into the closet this is definitely going to be a place where you know i have three kids myself and so i know um when kids happen to see like you know spacious closets like that they tend to pick them places to play hide and hide and seek so you know this is definitely like a you know a thumbs up for them because the kids have extra room to play and have fun in so that's good and it's nice and even if you know they do put things in there that is still um pretty you know nice even for storage you can't never have too much storage storage places a lot of like christmas decor halloween decor stuff like that yo look how far this goes over yeah, here look at it this. Goes further over there it goes literally under the stairs yeah so you know what i might sleep in here cat stop the that's cat. how big this room is i might take a nap hey <laughs> keep watching this vlog if y'all want to see where we really gonna be sleeping at because it's telling y'all right now this video is gonna be crazy man i'm so excited all right y'all so walking down the hallway there's another door on our on this side on our right side is our powder room yeah so this is where all the guests will use the bathroom we have a really pretty circle mirror that has the LED back light. We have a vessel sink and our look how our water comes out. Wow. Look how dope that is. So this room, we wanted it to make it really dark, make it black. So when you come in here, everything So this bathroom, I like the bathroom also because look at it like the the wall is like a um some type of wooden looking material. I'm not sure what material actually is but it's pretty um the sink is very nice and unique like i never seen the sink where the water flows you know out like that it's very nice like this bathroom right here um i remember going into my doctor's office um specifically my OBGYN, and the bathroom was kind of like this setting right here so this is their powder room and they have it looking exactly like what it is. So it's giving what it's supposed to give. Like, you know, when they have guests over for like family functions and different events, they can come inside the restaurant and feel comfortable as they're using it. You know, many times we go inside, uh, go visit a family member or a friend and they we go and use it. And the um, restroom is like not clean or not comfortable and you trying to hurry up and just you know rush out of there but there's this is going to be this is giving what it's supposed to give like it's very nice it is it's just very nice like you no know, i like it i would give it a 10 out of 10. everything in here is dark except for a toilet we wanted a black toilet y'all but we didn't get it we have a black little flush egg. You flush it up top, and then we have some drawers down here. Let me show you. We have some drawers down here that you can put stuff in, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna shut the door on you guys real quick, okay? This is a black room. Look at the door. Y'all see that door? It's black. You see the black? Everything's black. So on the inside is black. Right. But on the outside is white. Yes, sir. Yep. And then we also went with the black finish of all the door knobs too. Mm -hmm. so. And the floor is marble. Look at the floor. The floor is really lit. I the love floor the floor. is, yeah. The floor is really pretty. Yeah, the floor is really pretty, man. Yep. Yeah. This is our bathroom. So shout out to Bianca. I got a question though. Yes, sir. Who's about to get reached away up there? Oh yeah, look guys. So inside here is some storage. You open it and there's storage. Who better be going all the way up there? to put some up there. Not me. I'm gonna put some right here and right here. Them the only things I can touch. So uh, all that storage space, we need somebody who's like seven foot to get up there because it ain't me. <laughs> it's not Damon either. Right, so Damon. Shots fired. Ba, 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 ba. All right, so I come in this way is... Another little hallway. Another hallway. And another door. So this right here is our coat closet. Yep, the only thing that's gonna be here is coats. Coats. And yep. maybe shoes. Maybe shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and right behind Bianca. This is called the mudroom. So this is where the kids put their book bags, their coats, some dirty shoes. Yeah, stuff like that. You know, when they get home from school, just the other stuff right there. Yeah, and see, I like this because um, when you have like kids, 
kids tend to come in the house and just throw their stuff wherever they feel like it. So I think this is a necessity um, that Bianca have created, of course, you know, because only us mothers could think about, you know, stuff like this. You know, like this, every, you know, they really, she really went to the extreme um, when she created this house. She thought about you know, everything that they would need in order to be comfortable and, you know, like for the house to be clean. And so this is one of the necessities in order to keep, you know, make sure that the kids, you know, are organized. This teaches the kids organization. Um, Like she said, they can hang up their book bags in there and put their dirty shoes on inside the little cabinets or whatever. So I like this feature too. It's nice. You can't never get too much storage. I'm telling you, especially when you have kids because kids will have your house looking like a tornado just came in and spun all through it. Storage space. Yep. And behind us, coming in this room, is Bianca's favorite room. She designed it herself. Yes, this is one of my favorite rooms because y'all know, since we have a big family, we have a lot of laundry. So this is our laundry room. Have anyone ever seen a laundry room that's this big? Besides when you go to the laundry mat. No, this is a whole house with this much space. Look at all the cabinets, the storage spaces. Like, this is nice. The color of the cabinets, the countertops is really nice. Like, they have a big sink in there. Like, this is nice. And this is, like, motivation. Like, who don't want to live like this? Who who don't want to live? This is nice. When you can afford to have a big washer um room like this, like, how you doing something right? This is nice. This is, a, I would give this a 10 out of 10, even though I haven't finished watching how what she was um saying. Like, this is nice. We have a really big island that I can full clothes on. And then we also have drawers. Look at this. We have drawers to put a whole bunch of cleaning supplies. I don't know what else we're going to put in there because there's so much storage space in here. There's storage space everywhere, man. Yes. But listen, who put an island in the laundry room? Bianca. Wow. See, <laughs> happy wife, happy life. No, you know, the reason that we wanted a lot of storage, guys, because our last house had no storage at all. So we were trying to like find places to put stuff. No, sir. Mm -mm. In here, we have a lot of storage. Washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. That we're going to go buy. More cabinets. We want the green color. So yeah. I wanted to do green. something different. I think they're green with the white walls and then the floors. Yeah, the marble floors. So you know how the back have black marble? This is white marble floor. It's really pretty. And then over here, guys, we have a little accent wall, if you want to call it. We have like the gold and marble. So the gold is supposed to match the gold handles and the marble is supposed to match the floor. Yes, a lot of cabinets in this room. Yes. Like I said, storage, guys. This cabinet's literally everywhere. It is, literally. <laughs> Drawers, cabinets. And then over here, guys, we have a sink. This sink is just mainly to like feel like mop buckets and stuff because you know you don't want to put your mop bucket inside your regular sink where your dishes go that's just nasty so we have this for our uh, mop bucket yeah mop bucket mm -hmm. and then coming over here guys we have another closet another door now we have in this house we have a lot of closets because in our last house we built we didn't have enough mm -hmm. enough storage space so we made sure with this house we have way more storage than we have endless endless storage yeah so we have a linen closet inside our I mean, sorry. Instead of our laundry room. Laundry. I've never seen a closet inside of a laundry room. Nope. You might be the first. This maybe. is the first. Well, for me, this is the first. But um, more storage. More storage space, guys. Right. A lot of the cleaning supplies, like rooms and stuff, will go in there. So, you know, when guests come over, they don't have to see the dirty stuff. All right, guys. So, here is the main garage. Yep, garage number one. And we already got stuff inside here. Let me turn some lights on here. So this is garage number one. We have a four car. First, I want to say um, the garage, I noticed I'm looking at the floors and these floors are not regular garage floors. Um, usually when you go inside a garage, you see me. These floors are, um, I don't like maybe marble floors, which is 
a plus because you don't have to usually um clean out the garage and stuff you have to get a big old long um what is that called like a, a brush it's a like a scrub brush on a long stick and you got to scrub them floors here they won't have to do that all they have to do is sweep them up so i feel like that's less work on you know the parents or whatever the kids can go inside the garage and you know have more even more space to play at and stuff um so that's a no that's a plus um so y'all i will not be doing a full because this video looked like it's like really long so i will not be doing watching the full thing i just wanted to show like a, a sneak of it and give my reaction to it so um i would definitely so far um i know it's gonna get even better because it really just started and so i like i pretty much like everything that they have shown this is like a real big motivation for me um because damien bianca started out how a lot of us start out like you know they started out how me and Hayes is starting out they came from nothing they told their story plenty of times how they worked their little Caesars together and um they didn't have you know like stable living or anything but them two they stuck together and they worked together and this is where they're at right now so this is motivation for anybody just to say you know you don't have to start out you know you can come from nothing and long as you have that motivation as long as you do what you need to do like you can become you know who they are you know so um this is you know i like to watch stuff like that because it really motivates me i have it you know hard sometimes because i work a lot i work a full-time job and sometimes i'm staying like over my hours um if needed and it's hard for me to come home and do videos like it's really hard because i'd be so tired so you know when i look at stuff like that it just gives me motivation to continue pushing like you know it makes me want to like come home like because i know the you know when you watch stuff like that you know what comes out of just staying on top like you know what you see the benefits of coming home you know even though you're tired putting your stuff down, whatever, taking a little break, eat or whatever, and do a video. So, um, that's why I wanted to react to this. Because this definitely gives me, you know, it's like an inspiration to me, my energy. I be struggling. I be struggling. I be tired. But thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to like. Um, I don't mind doing another part of the video, like a part two, part three, or whatever. But just let me know if y'all do want me to do another part to this video. So, um, you know, get my reaction or whatever. Um, those of you who are not subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe and hit the um, notification notification bell so you can be notified anytime that Hayes or I drop a video um and thank you all for supporting thank you all for watching yeah.